Welcome, either for the first time or back, to Let's Play Anodyne. Um, a moment of silence for a save file. Regretfully, indeed I am. Stupid single save file. <laughs> D don't, don't make me think any harder about this. place with Tetris in the background. A little intro to how some of these puzzles work. Get rid of some blocks. This right here is a... oh, he'll explain it for us. Very handy. Checkpoint slash save point. Um, you're gonna notice I'm walking around a little funny. I'll probably explain that momentarily. But first, we're jumping onto a road. The game is fortunately very, very kind with the save points. Uh, currently, you'll see we are a young, androgynous individual. Uh, Somewhat ageless, hard to tell. We can't do anything there yet. So we're gonna go this way. Um, get ourselves a little switch, open a gate. More of those little red slimes. And this is our weapon, a broom. Which is shockingly effective overall. Those little red dollops there that fly out of them don't actually hurt you. Um, at any rate, I mentioned I'm moving around kind of funny. That's because, for whatever reason, um, I can't get this game to completely properly recognize my controller. So I have to actually use a very, very funny setup on my end that's not exciting enough to warrant describing. But, that being said, um, you've actually seen me gripe about this twice, both with the single save and now this controller thing. Um, I love this game. It is absolutely amazing. Um, it was made by two, just two guys. Um, not a large studio or anything like that. You're creepy. And you disappeared. Um, the feel of this game is just very earthbound, and I got that vibe pretty early on when I played it. Uh, little dust physics here, moving around some dust. That will become very important later on. Um, you can't, however, take dust out of a screen with you. Um, but game developed by just a couple of guys. Um, I find the feel of it very, as I was saying before, very earthbound, just in its, in its creepiness. When earthbound decides that it doesn't want to be cute anymore and stops messing around and just gets freaky. Um, that's kind of what this whole game's mood is like. Uh, the gameplay is very similar to an older style Zelda title, probably most like uh, Link's Awakening on the on the Game Boy. Um, but those two things combined just make for one amazing game. So that being said, let's uh, let's hop to it.
Let's see how that bike fared. Oh, goodbye, Mitra. Hope to see you again. And now we're back to being creeped out and lonely. Let's see, so let's, uh, let's walk around, just kind of do some exploring. Blocked off by trees there, we can't do much about those. Bats are uh, a little bit of a pain. We have indeed. He has lots of confidence in us. Um, but before we go in there, we're going to do a little bit more exploring. Uh, this here will activate the Nexus, is what the game calls it, and it's just a nice little uh, area connecting a lot of other stuff. Uh, for some reason, this dude just really creeps me. You're going to see me probably talk to people multiple times, because I'm a big believer in kind of showing people everything that there is to see in a game, when I at least have the capabilities to do that. Um, most people say more than one thing. Um, so as a result, I'll be speaking to pretty much everybody at least a couple times, but that is going to result in us reading some dialogue more than once, so apologies in advance for that. Um, this is still a bit of a test video, though. I had some issues with the audio in my Bunny Must Die videos, and I'm still trying to figure them out and have not yet been able to. You'll also notice that the action watermark is still at the top there. Uh, remember this gate, we're going to come back to that later. Um, that's because I'm still on the fence, because I'm trying to fix this audio issue. Um, if I can fix this audio issue, um, I'm totally buying this, like that same second. But uh, we're playing Anodyne right now, even though I haven't bought it yet, because I'm hoping that maybe the audio issue was Bunny Must Die specific. Um, that right there was a card. And his card is even creepy. Uh, but that right there is a card. They are kind of your real measure of progress in this game. That was mean. Um, but I pointed out this gate a moment ago with the number four on it. Um, that is That will only open if you have that number of cards. Unlike this gate down here, which has a particular color of key on it, that will open for that corresponding colored key. Uh, so once we get three more cards, we'll be able to go through that gate. But we've got a little bit first. But now, having explored everything we could there, Let's go here. Oh, fat lot of nothing. No good that did us. So now, uh, having explored all of that, we are going to go and head to our first temple. Killing bats. But you know what? Let's save right here. Um, and that recording was long enough so that I'll be able to see if any weird issues have happened with the frame and the audio and all of that other stuff. So, uh, until next time.